Well, a manhunt is underway for a suspected cop killer in California. The suspect, whose name has not been released, is accused of shooting and killing 33-year-old Ronil Singh during a traffic stop. Police now say the alleged gunman was in the country illegally. The White House reacting to the tragedy this morning. In a very, very difficult and painful way, it, it sort of illustrates exactly the very best of our immigration and the very worst and why legal immigration is so, so, so important and wonderful for this country and illegal immigration is so different. And one of the reasons that the president is still here um, fighting for border security. William Lajeunesse is live for us in Los Angeles, in our Los Angeles bureau. Uh, William, tell us about the officer. Well, Singh joined the Newman Police Department 11 years ago. Newman is a small town in the Central Valley where Singh was one of 13 officers. He was well-known, liked, and recently tested to become a sergeant. A legal immigrant from Fiji, he took extra English lessons to make himself better understood on the police radio. And hours before the shooting on Christmas Day, he took this photo of his wife and their five-month-old son. The chief and others say Singh loved being a police officer, his family, and was, quote, living the American dream. At his five-month-old, he will never hear talk. He will never see his son walk. He doesn't get to hold that little boy, hug his wife, say goodnight anymore because a coward took his life. So Singh's canine partner, Sam, was with him at the time of the shooting in the police vehicle. Sam will be retired and will live with Officer Singh's wife and son. Yeah, Heather? The, the pictures of the family that apparently, that at least that one Christmas picture they took right before he went out and was shot and killed. Explain why police have not released the suspect's name. Police say the suspect is a heavyset Hispanic male with black hair and was in the U.S. illegally. It is not uncommon, south of the border, for a man to take his father and mother's maiden name, and when arrested, some migrants will try to conceal their identity by inverting or omitting one name or the other. Police tell me it is likely his prints match different names until it's sorted out to protect others with a similar name. They are not releasing his identity. But security cameras did catch him buying beer at a convenience store shortly before the shooting, wearing a black jacket, silver chain, black shoes. Moments later, Officer Singh stopped the suspect in this pickup truck with no plates around 1 a.m. on Wednesday on a suspected DUI. Minutes later, Singh radioed in, shots fired, I've been hit, and later died. Please consider the suspect armed and dangerous. This suspect, unlike Ron, who immigrated to this country lawfully and legally to pursue his lifelong career of public safety, public service, and being a police officer, this suspect is in our country illegally. He doesn't belong here. He's a criminal. We will find him, we will arrest him, and we will bring him to justice. So staff at the convenience store knew the suspect, so he is likely a local. But without a name, the media cannot find out where he worked, who he was, and if he had a criminal background, and what is the sanctuary state. Heather? Yeah. So what happens next? Uh, William Lajeunesse, live for us. Thank you.